Hey guys, welcome to episode number 353. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday. And I've got one thing to talk about today. And it's right in the center of the screen. That's right, we got a Waterland tub. And for anyone who is not familiar with Waterland, Waterland is a company basically devoted to creating ideal habitats for turtles and tortoises. And this is the small four foot Waterland tub. Uh, they come in larger sizes. I believe they come in smaller sizes as well. Uh, but this seemed like a nice manageable size Waterland tub. And I've just sort of placed it up here momentarily just so you guys could sort of take a look at it. And um, I wanted to take one or two minutes just sort of comparing and contrasting the Rubbermaid stock tub to the Waterland tub. And um, there are definitely pros and cons to each one. Uh, this is something that I am most definitely going to set up here in the very near future. And as you can see, um, it's basically a one-piece construction and uh, it's got two sides to it. This is the water side and as you see it has a built-in ramp here for your aquatic turtles to walk up into what is the land side. So you have basically an all-in-one enclosure here and it's perfect for any of your aquatic turtles. They also make the reverse, they also make one that has mostly land and then just a little bit of water for uh, your tortoises or other animals that are mostly land animals as well. And that's actually the number one feature that I love about these tubs is that it's custom built for your turtle. Now these stock tanks are a good option, however they're meant to feed and water uh, cattle and so as such there's really no land or water side to them and so you're basically left to your own devices to come up with a solution for that. Um, the other thing that I like about the Waterland tubs is that they are sort of a, a rectangular shape and because of that if you're really looking to get into breeding turtles or basically any other reptile. These things are ideal because you can sort of sit them one next to the other and line them all up and uh, you can even plumb them into the same filtration system if you want to. All you need to do is either drill a hole in the bottom or drill a hole in the side and install a bulkhead. Um, alternatively a stock tank because it is sort of round in shape uh, you do lose out a little bit on uh, how many you can sort of put one next to the other. It's sort of like wasted space at the end of the day. So anyways guys, that's the quick look at the Waterland Tub. Uh, definitely in upcoming videos I will be setting this thing up. I may put my hatchlings in here temporarily as they grow up a little bit. And uh, as I continue to get new hatchlings, this will be their first step before they get into a larger system. Now as I said, Waterland does make larger tubs. I believe they make one that's like over six feet long. So you can basically get it in any size that you need for any of your reptiles. And uh, they're definitely worth checking out. So uh, if you haven't heard of them before, I would definitely go check out Waterland tubs and um, consider them for your next turtle project which is what I'm doing right here so anyways guys that's just a quick look at the Waterland tub I'll probably place it over here once I move all of this stuff out of the way and uh, I might set up a little uh, barrel filter uh, underneath it as a sump to uh, keep it going but anyways guys that's what I've got for today Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.